everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Merry Christmas everyone. I hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that I did and I hope that you did as well. And now we're into the Christmas holidays and I'm so excited because I love this time of the year. So in this video, I'm going to be creating some Christmas gift ideas and I'll be using all Dollar Tree items. Now, these gifts are geared for the person or persons that just have everything and you don't know what to get them. Well, I've come up with a few gift ideas that I think that you'll like, so I wanted to go ahead and share them with you. Before we get started, please consider to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. For this first gift set, I'm going to be using some of these Kinder Milk Chocolate candies and these are hollow in the inside. Now what I'm going to make with them is chocolate bombs. I do have to say that Dollar Tree didn't have these candies so I went ahead and I went to Dollar General and they had these for a dollar. Typically in order to make these chocolate bombs you need these chocolate molds and I don't have them so this is going to be a hack that I just found out that you could quickly make some chocolate bombs without having to use molds and that's what I'm going to show you here in just a bit. Just keep in mind in order to make these chocolate bombs you do need for your chocolates to be hollowed and they didn't have any at Dollar Tree and that's why I had to go elsewhere and I found them at Dollar General. So. This is one of the items that's not from Dollar Tree, but it's still a dollar item. I'm going to start by removing the candy wrapper. And as you noticed, I am using gloves because I'm going to be touching the chocolate and this is going to be a gift to someone. And so I don't want to get my germs on the food. I'll be using this knife right here because I am going to be cutting through the chocolate. And I'm also going to be using this lighter. I need for my knife to get heated and this is what I thought was the easiest way to show you on camera to heat up my knife. Now once it's nicely heated I'm going to go ahead and cut off the head from my little chocolate man. Well it's a snowman so I'm going to cut its head off. I know that sounds mean I'm sorry. Now as you can see the chocolate man is hollow and this is what you need in order to fill it up with some hot cocoa and that's what I'm going to do next. I'll be using some of this Swiss Miss Marshmallow Hot Cocoa Mix and this I purchased at Dollar Tree. Next I'm just going to pour it into a bowl. I'll also be using this 1 8 teaspoon. Next I'm going to fill up my chocolate with this hot cocoa mix. And then using my lighter again, I'm just going to heat up the edges as you see me do there. And now I'm going to close him up by just putting back the little portion that I had cut off. And what I'm doing here is just smoothing the chocolate that melted around the seams. This will take a few minutes before the chocolate hardens back up. Now what I'm going to do next is add these little uh, candy canes to the back of the candy man. The reason that I'm going to do that is to dress it up and maybe it might resemble a reindeer. So uh, the candy canes are going to be the antlers of the reindeer. It probably doesn't look like one but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and just go with it. So once again I'll be using my lighter to heat up the chocolate and then I'll be placing the candy canes directly on there and the chocolate will harden back up and the candy cane should adhere to the chocolate. Well at this point I didn't even know what this little thing looked like anymore but I decided to go ahead and give it a nose. Uh, I did the same thing. I heated up the chocolate and then I pressed a little piece of the candy cane right on the face. Next I'll be using some cling wrap to wrap him up and then I'll be tying a ribbon up at the top. I'll be making extra ones for my set. I'll also be using this Dollar Tree Christmas mug and what I'm going to do is fill it with some red tinsel garland and then I'm going to add my chocolate bombs to it. And I also added one of these candy cane spoons to it. 
This really pretty picture frame is new at Dollar Tree. It has this real pretty glitter all around it and it looks very Christmassy but also just very chic and pretty. I'll be inserting this right here that this is the directions to the cocoa bomb and it says Merry Christmas drop this hot cocoa bomb into a mug for a surprise from Belinda. So this is something that I created on my computer and then I just printed it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and frame it with this really pretty picture frame. Since this is part of the gift, they can change the picture out, put in whatever picture they want. This is just so they know what the bombs are supposed to do because if I would have received a cocoa bomb before I knew about it, I would know what to do. I would just probably just bite into the chocolate and then all the powder would just explode in my mouth. But with these simple instructions, they'll just go ahead and follow them and then they'll see the surprise. So once I cut out my picture, now I'm just going to go ahead and add some really pretty ribbon around the border and just to make it look more festive and more Christmassy. And then finally before I wrap this up, I'm going to be adding some foil shreds on top of the frame and then I'll be placing my coffee mug on top. I will be using some cellophane wrap to wrap this up to gift it out. For this gift set, I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree clear container and this is found in the wedding section. I'm going to start by filling it up with this red foil shreds. And I'm going to add these candy canes to the front part of the container. And I'm going to use another Dollar Tree Christmas mug and I love this one because it has little candy canes. So I'm going to be dropping this mug into the container. And then I added some red tinsel garland around the mug. I'll also be using one of these Dollar Tree DIY clear ornaments and what I'm going to do is fill it up with some hot chocolate using the Swiss Miss Marshmallow Hot Cocoa Mix. Before that I added the cocoa mix, I did wash my ornament and then I let it dry. Now here is what it looks like with the cocoa mix inside and then here's the little lid. Now what I'm going to do is tape it down so that the lid won't come off. Next I'll be adding these little googly eyes from Dollar Tree to my ornament but first I'm going to mark off where I need my eyes to be. Next I added a small dab of hot glue and then I placed my eyes. And then I used one of these small red pom-poms as a nose. And then I used some of these pipe cleaners from the Crafter Square collection to make some little antlers for my reindeer. So as you can see, I created one big V and then I hot glued it onto the top of the ornament and then I created another smaller V and then I hot glued that onto one side of my antler. And I repeated the same step for the other side of the antler. And then I added some more red tinsel garland inside my coffee cup and then I dropped in my reindeer in the cup. And once I'm ready to gift it out, I'll go ahead and wrap it up with some cellophane wrap. For this gift set, I'm going to be using this really beautiful gift box from Dollar Tree. So what I want to do with this box is showcase the whole exterior of it because I really do love it. So I'm going to turn the lid with the top side facing forward and then I'm going to tape it on the back side just as you see me do there. These boxes are so great because for one, they're really pretty, but they're also very sturdy. And so they're great to showcase any of the items that you want to give out as gifts. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some cellophane wrap once I'm done putting everything inside my box. So before I fill up my box, I'm going to start adding some of this iridescent shreds. 
This gift set is going to be geared for the baker and I'm going to fill it up with a cupcake pan and then some uh, cupcake mix and this is from uh, Pillsbury so this is a name brand and this I also got at Dollar Tree so everything that you're going to see here is from Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to add in this single serving from Betty Crocker mug treats. And so you can't have a cupcake without any frosting. So I'm going to be adding this Pillsbury Funfetti Vanilla Frosting and it also has some sprinkles. So this is going to go great with these cupcakes. And I'm also going to add these really cute polka dotted cupcake liners. And I don't know about you, but whenever I bake, I make a big mess, so I need a lot of kitchen towels. So I'm going to be adding this really pretty kitchen, a towel that says, bless this kitchen. One of the things is that I want everything to kind of be color coordinated. So I started off with choosing this really pretty blue box. And then from that point, I started thinking of what items that I could put that would coordinate with my box. Dollar Tree has these really pretty colored little rubbered utensils and I really love this gray color so I'm going to be adding this whisk and also the spoon. I think that these little gadgets are so cute first of all but they also go well with gift sets that are geared for the baker or also for decorating your kitchen like kitchen towels, mitts and things like that. You can always add these little gadgets in there and wrap them up and you have a cute little gift to give that person that loves to bake or be in the kitchen. Now this will be the last item that I'm going to place in my gift box and this is a ceramic little microwave bowl I believe. It kind of looks like a cupcake mold to me. Okay so I've been seeing this a lot in all my social media. So people use these Snugadoo socks and then they just roll them up and they put them either in a cup or in a cupcake cup and they turn out to look like cupcakes and they look really cute so that's what I'm going to be doing with this sock right here and this I purchased also at Dollar Tree. So after that I place it in my bowl I kind of start to spread out my sock and just make it look like maybe the cake frosting is kind of hanging over the bowl somehow if that makes any sense and then once I do that once I achieve what I'm looking for I'm going to go ahead and add two little pom-poms up at the top and those are going to represent like a cherry or some kind of candy up at the top of the cupcake. Now isn't this adorable? I love the way this gift set turned out. I love everything about it, the color coordination, and then all the little items in there. So I would love to receive this. I mean, wouldn't you? Tell me what you think down below in the description box. What are your thoughts on it? For this gift set, I'm going to use two of these tin Christmas containers and I absolutely love them. Dollar Tree right now has these really pretty ones. I grabbed a whole bunch because I just think you could do so much with them. So I want to show you this red one here is a little bit bigger than this one with the little cardinals. As you can see, it is just a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do with this is make a tin two-tier tray and then I'm just going to fill it up with some little baking goods. So I've gone ahead and removed the lids and by the way, I love, love those lids. So I'm going to put them away because I will be sending them off with this gift. So I'm going to go ahead and just stack them up this way as I'm showing you with the bottom one being bigger and I'm going to use this candle stand and just place it in the center and I'm only going to use some hot glue. That way the person that I give this out to, she can use the candle stand for something else and also the tin containers for something else as well. So I'm going to just give it away this way and they can decide to do whatever they want. I will let them know that if they do want it to stay permanently, she would need to add some sort of super glue 
And that way she wouldn't have to worry that the whole thing would topple over after a while because hot glue does not adhere permanently to tin or glass. So to dress up my two-tier tin tray, I'm going to add some of this red tin garland. And this will just give it that really pretty festive look before I start adding in my items. For this gift set, it's geared for the chocolate lover. So I'm going to be adding this fudge brownie up at the top of the tier tray. And then I'm also going to add some chocolate chunks and all this can be found at Dollar Tree. And then going with that chocolate theme, I'm going to be adding this kitchen towel that it's in a tan and brown color that reads the kitchen is the heart of home. I think this is really, really pretty also. And then I'm just going to fold it and kind of roll it up to where it'll fit nicely on the bottom tin can. And I'm also going to add the matching pot holders. And also I'm going to add this red whisk and also a red spatula. And I also made another cocoa filled ornament and I'm just going to place a little bow up at the top and place it on the bottom tin tray. I really love how this one turned out as well. Now the color coordination that I went with was with red, but then also the chocolate brown because of the chocolate cookie mix. For this gift set, I'm going to be using this mug and I really love it because this can be used even in the winter time. It's not just for the Christmas season. I love the cardinal on it and what it says. I'll also be using the wax from this candle because I'm going to turn my coffee cup mug into a candle. So I'm going to go and melt this wax down. Okay, so once I melted the wax, now I have the wick from that candle. And so what I'm going to do is just add a dab of hot glue to the bottom metal part of the wick and then I'm going to place it in the center of my coffee cup. And then using a wooden dowel, I'm just going to press it down just to make sure that it adheres to the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to need for the wig to stand straight up. So what I've done is roll the wig around the wooden dowel and then I place my dowel over my cup as you see me do there. And here's the melted wax and now I'm ready to pour it into my cup. I did have to melt another candle and use about half of that wax because I wanted my cup to have the wax all the way almost to the top. Now at this point, you can add any kind of essential oils that you might want your candle to be scented with. Before the wax hardened, I went ahead and I added a stick of candy cane. I just thought that it would give it a really pretty touch to my candle. And then lastly, I went ahead and I cut the wick off from the long stem. Now to be honest, I'm not sure if I was supposed to add any sort of candy to my wax. Let me know what you think because I don't know. I just thought that it looked pretty. And this is how my pretty cup candle turned out. I love it. <laughs> okay, since this is going to be another gift, I need something where I can corral everything together. And I found this at a Dollar Tree and I thought that it would be perfect because when you flip it around to the bottom, you have a box. And once they receive their gift and they take all the little goodies out, they're left with a nice little wall decor. Now for this box, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some silver garland. A while back, Dollar Tree had these aroma diffusers and I bought several so that I would put them in gift baskets. So I'll be putting this one in this box here. And my homemade, newly made candle. And for this box, I made another sock cupcake. This one turned out adorable. Now this gift basket is geared for a friend that loves candles and also putting on some aromatherapy and then putting on your little socks and just cozying up by a fireplace or just reading a book. 
I also added some of these milk chocolate candies and after that I saw it for a bit I thought well I think it looks too childish because it has little Santa Claus and snowmen so I don't know I really didn't like how it looked too much so I went ahead and I removed them and I replaced them with these Russell Stover assorted chocolates let me know what you think For this gift set, I'm going to use this really pretty Christmas plate from Dollar Tree and also this charger in the color red. I think that both look so pretty together. So what I'm going to do is a cookie two-tier tray. Before I put together the tray, I am going to create a really pretty topper using these Christmas ornaments. And also I'll be using one of these bamboo skewers and also this really pretty gift ornament from Dollar Tree. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing first is I'm going to mark my ornaments or my Christmas ball ornaments where I need the skewer to go right through. So I'm going to make one marking on one side and then I'm going to go to the opposite side and make another marking on the other side. Then once I mark them all off, I'm going to go ahead and just create some holes using my hot glue gun where I marked off each ornament. And then pass the skewer through the holes and I'll be doing that to the rest of the ornaments. Now I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom of my ornaments and then I'm going to place it on my plate. And then I'm going to cut off part of that skewer stick because it's too long. And then I'm going to place the foam gift through the top of the skewer stick. It was a little bit wobbly so I did add additional hot glue. Okay so I'm ready now to assemble my two tier cookie tray and I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue to my candle holder and then place it in the center of my charger and then after that put some more hot glue on the top side of my candle holder and then place my plate on top. And then lastly, I added some cookies and some candies and this is how it turned out. I'd love to know what you think of all these gift items. Please comment down below and let me know which is your favorite. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up because that really, really helps my channel. And you have yourself a Merry Christmas, a blessed day, and until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.